What screams I'm depressed? Being scared of getting better. That fear of not knowing who you are without it. Staying up all night because going to sleep transports you to the next day immediately. People who aren't really depressed. When you come home and your dog's excitement to see you no longer makes everything about your day better. E or Maybe browsing the internet 16 hours a day without really wanting to do anything else but you don't even find it satisfying, despite a whole heap of other hobbies and interests you once partook in. I'm not really sure though since I've never seen anyone slash been diagnosed, but I get the feeling of boredom for months on end and in between those some days are just sadness all day, a look in someone's eye is enough to see what they're going through. Sitting down in the shower. Silence. You hear nothing, you feel nothing, you are nothing. Silence. Something that would normally jar your emotions happens and you feel nothing. Not caring enough if I die. It would just happen, and I wouldn't mind. I can't control my spending, though nothing I buy makes me feel better. I struggle to shower every day. I go to bed late and can't stay awake in the mornings. I have a full suicide plan laid out ready to be carried out at a moment's notice. You'll notice I've hit a hard depressed swing when I don't wash my cars. I haven't washed them in over a month. I sit in parties full of friends I've known for years and years and just don't say anything. I'll just quietly play my game with no enthusiasm to waste time. Everything is exhausting. I'm always exhausted and I don't understand the point in life never have gotten over them. I just resist them for my wife and kids sake, but they never stop coming. Having a good day and then ruining it later by thinking I'll never have this again slash forever. Losing interest in activities you used to love. Waking up every morning feeling an overwhelming amount of dread. One time during a party with friends, my brother was very drunk and stoned and kept saying that he was willing to kill himself. We were 15. I think about what a disappointment I'd be to my parents and friends, which would be more of a disappointment than I am now. Pl Usually, in all seriousness, my friends can tell. Especially when you're an energetic person. I'm usually outgoing and always yelling and laughing. So if my friends say something and I just reply like, yeah, mumbles, you can easily tell. Feeling like a nuisance, and constantly apologizing for things that aren't your fault. A complete lack of interest in anything. That feeling of tiredness and numbness where it feels like you're fighting against a lead weight just to get up and do anything, even for things that you'd typically be excited for. Insecurity and pessimism. When you realize you are actively pushing down your emotions, not letting yourself feel anything at all. When you wake up so apathetic you can't even summon the will to move your own body. Being hungry but not having the energy to walk to the fridge for a snack. Actively seeking any excuse to just be lazy and do nothing because nothing beings you any joy anymore and all you want to do is sleep. These are all things I've begun noticing myself doing, and it's a pretty scary feeling. You don't realize it's happening until one day you look at the state your room is, the fact you've been wearing the same clothes for the past week and have barely eaten anything and you wake up. You realize this is not healthy but you're already so set in this lifestyle it's difficult to get out of it. Dark circles around your eyes, always tired, never wanting to leave the house, lack of appetite. My family seems to hate me. I did owe everything they asks and they're still so mean. They say the most brutal of things. Then later say it's my fault. I have to shut down my emotions so often I haven't really felt anything in years. I have noticed you can tell by my eyes my face looks so happy but my eyes look so angry and sad. Poor hygiene. Messy living space. No activities other than work and downtime. Drug and alcohol abuse that doesn't seem fun. Sleeping during days off. A diet that requires as little effort as possible. If something that's an easy fix and is used frequently is just left broken and worked around. For me, smoking cigarettes and weed in my bedroom with a full ashtray on the bed, while crying and living there for whole days just watching Netflix and eating junk food. Not showing interest in anything. 
It's not something you can pinpoint. It's not something that's easy to recognize. It's not your average sad. I don't know why it happens. I don't know how to stop it. I can see it from outside. Nothing's wrong. I'm just being stupid. Over melodramatic. But I can't seem to stop it. It's not a storm. Or a rainy day. It's not even a grey cloud covering the whole sky. It's like a fog covering everything. Everything in your life. Leaving you with a foul smell in the mouth and a forever disgruntled look. It's a dark fog of loneliness, despair and death. It has tainted everything thing you know and love till your favorite TV show no longer makes you happy and chocolate loses its taste. It's a time when you don't hate anyone. But you don't love anything either. You're emotionally tired which can often make you physically tired. I can see no point anymore of living. Going through the motions. And all for what? A job? Kids? Growing old and pathetic? Why? Why should I do all that? Isn't it just easier to run away? No you don't understand. I wish it were that easy. I wish you were the umbrella keeping me dry during the storm. But it's a fog. It sticks to everything. You can brush it away and for some time it might even work. But eventually it'll come back. By this point you welcome any distraction. You find yourself running away. Fantasy world. Sometimes even that isn't good enough. Sleep seems to be the best option you have. You stay in bed longer. But now as I lay awake at 1am finding myself wide awake. Trying to put this all into words. I just want to sleep. Why can't I sleep? I want to sleep. Forever. Not being able to look in the mirror. I used to love doing makeup. But since a short time I don't even brush my hair properly anymore. Someone who acts stupid and goofy all the time on purpose and then randomly withdraws for a good bit and goes back to being all goofy this at least in my experience means they're hiding their depression a good example of somebody who does this is me. This is how I best can describe my experience with recurrent depression. When you feel bored with everything, even though there is plenty of things to do, which causes you to get frustrated to the point of tears because you feel like you want to do something but you can't find the right thing to do no matter what you try. You don't want to do the things you enjoy because it's not as fun anymore and you still feel bored while doing the things you used to enjoy. And you feel like it is not worth doing anything because it feels the same every time. And whenever somebody suggests a thing to do, you're not in the mood to do that thing, or you are too tired. Eventually you give up trying to do things. You don't see the point in trying to combat the bored feeling anymore. Why should you do anything, the next day's days will all be the same anyway. Even food tastes of boredom. You don't wanna clean your room because it feels exactly like your mom has been nagging on you to the point that you have lost the complete will to do it. Everything feels like a task to do with nothing in it for you. You feel like you gain nothing. Whenever a wave hits me, it always starts out with losing interest and becoming frustrated. Till I'm very likely depressed. When you have your desktop background still set to the default picture. Being envious of people who are happy believing people who are happy are faking their energy and emotions because you don't know how they have that ability. Not wanting to express your feelings slash opinions because you don't believe anyone cares and it takes too much energy to talk not knowing who you are sometimes I know you've said one but I've been depressed for three plus years. This is just a way for me to vent. Thank you op. When someone is being overly nice and understanding even when they have legitimate cause for anger it shows they may be depressed. When there's a hole in your heart, bad hygiene slash messy spaces, at least with me. My username. My username answers the question how are you? With every answer imaginable other than the answer to the question. Reposting front page ask credit questions with a slight variation in them. Doing jokes about depression without laughing at them. Understand it's not your choice to make for example me in the shower, my voice. When you stop taking care of yourself as much as you used to. You kind of let yourself go. Big bags under eyes. Right now, my reflection is screaming it. 
Also, what the rest of the people have said. Only cat food and ice cream in your grocery cart. Wearing the same clothes over and over. Fake depressed people. Trying your hardest to be noticed in every possible social situation. I don't think I would ever- I do. I scream saying that I'm depressed.